someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed. For though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What should I do, for I do not have a space to store my harvest? And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build, and build larger, larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods, and I shall say to myself, Now, as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You fall. This night your life will be demanded of you. And the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it, that, thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Today the Lord has invited us to be rich in heaven, not here. Because all our material possessions are not necessary when we pass away. Sometime Pope Francis said he never saw any funeral celebration with all the possessions of that person behind. We can see beautiful monuments in many cemeteries but the bombs of the rich one and the poor ones are the same. Material things are important. We need things. God created us everything for us. But the problem is when you put your heart in material things and you forget what is your vocation and what is your last goal. Our last goal is heaven with God eternal communion, we need to repeat this many times because usually appear the temptation to accumulate many material things. It's not enough with one car. I need two. I need three. It's not enough with what home. I need two, three homes. It's not enough if I can to go in vacation to this place. No, I need to go three or four different places. Appear that false necessity to accumulate many material things. That is not important. And that presents a great risk to lose our soul. That is the message in this parable of the gospel. This man said, I have a lot of possessions. Good money, good harvest. Now, I enjoy everything at that night pass away. The invitation is, don't forget that you are created for eternal life. And all your possessions are not enough for achieve that goal. It's impossible to pay for heaven. We can say, as the John Rich in the gospel, one need how much we need to pay for go to heaven. We can't do that. At the end, the good things that we need to present to God is our works of love, works of mercy. That is the righteousness that we need at the end of our lives. Let us ask to the Lord, Lord, help me to remain faithful to you, for you to do good works, Help me to be generous with others, to share with others. Help me to imitate you in your mercy, in your compassion. And help me to remember that my, my possessions are not enough for achieve eternal life. Let us pray in silence.